Welcome, my friend. My name is Ashley, and my puppy buddy who joins me today and in many of our practices is Johnny Boy. I have a full body flow. Let's explore your body and get into all the nooks and crannies. I will meet you on the mat. We had some very large furry four-legged friends who decided to come say hello. I have no clue what type of dogs these are, so if you do, share in the comments below. I would love to know. They were super friendly, but definitely caught me off guard with three of them running directly towards us. After all that excitement, let's get back to today's practice. I'll meet you lying on your back on the mat. We are beginning today's practice in Shavasana to help become fully aware of your entire body. So take up as much space as you'd like with your legs and with your arms. Palms can face up or down, whatever you prefer. Get any wiggles and scratches out so you can settle into complete stillness. Begin to just notice your breath. Arriving here on the mat in the here and now. Arriving here with your breath and with your body. Begin to feel into your body, dropping in, connecting with each part. You may do this in whatever way feels best for you, maybe scanning your body from head to toes or toes to head or simply tuning in and noticing the sensations that present themselves as you lie here. Just explore your body and connect with how you're feeling. In your body, the house that holds all that you are, feel your own heartbeat, the blood coursing through you as it travels to all the rooms in your house. You are the light that keeps it bright. Now as we move into the flow portion of our practice, I want to make sure we take care of every amazing part of your body. So I'll guide you through two flows, and on our third flow, it will be pure intuitive movement. So you'll be doing that one all on your own. So as we take our two flows, take note of what areas of your body we are tending to so you can fill your sequence of intuitive movements taking care of areas of your body that we did not tend to. Or maybe it simply needs a little bit more love and attention. Let's begin our flow portion to tend to our body. One at a time, draw one knee into your chest and then the other. Go ahead and wrap your arms around your legs. Relax your head to the mat and hug it out. Cross your ankles, take your two peace fingers around your big toes and rock and roll a few times along your spine. Next time you rock up, go ahead and hop back to tabletop pose. Line your wrists under your shoulders and knees under your hip points. Your shins are parallel, fingers are spread nice and wide. On your inhale, lower your belly and lift your gaze for cow pose. Shoulder heads draw back, tailbone lengthens towards the sky. On your exhale, beginning at your tailbone, ripple through your spine to arch your back. Your crown of head lowers towards the mat, tailbone lengthens towards the earth. We're going to take the flow from cat to cow a few rounds on your own. Exploring your body in cat, exploring your body in cow. Maybe your rocket front to back, feeling the stretch out in your upper back body, in your lower back body, or you take it side to side exploring your side body. Just close those eyes, explore your body, and how it feels flowing from cat to cow. What areas of the body is this tending to? Mm. 
when you're ready, we'll tuck those toes and lift your hips to down dog. Begin by taking a very generous bend in your knees, lengthening your tailbone towards the sky, your chest yearns towards your thighs. Feel it out. Maybe swing your hips a little side to side if that feels good in your body. Now let's bend into your left knee, right leg straightens, heel yearns towards the earth. And then we'll switch, bending your right knee, left heel yearns towards the earth. And now both heels yearn to the mat. On your next inhale, extend your right leg to the sky. With your leg extended, in our three leg dog, take three angle circles in one direction and then three in the opposite direction. Now go ahead and point and flex your foot a few times, maintaining strength and stability in your upper body while you hold your three-leg dog. Great, now go ahead and step your foot through. Take your back foot to meet the front for a forward fold. Breathe in to lift halfway, finding that nice flat back of yours. Exhale, melt chest towards your thighs. Big breath in, just circle fingertips down or round and up. Palms kiss at the top, reach back, and lower prayer to heart. Moving into a balancing pose next, standing pigeon pose. Begin to shift your weight into your right sole of foot. When you're ready, we'll cross your left ankle over your thigh and begin to lower your seat back into space as though you're sitting into a chair. Flex that foot and your left knee energetically presses away. Lengthen your tailbone towards the back of the mat to find length in your lower back. Stay broad across your chest, heart shines, lift your gaze out in front of you. Sink those hips a few inches lower. Breathe as you hold. Now on your next inhale, we'll rise up, draw your knee in towards your chest. From here, we're moving into warrior three pose. So slowly begin to extend your leg back behind you as you lean your torso forward, finding one long line with your body from fingertips to your heels. Beautiful, my friend. Now with control, Go ahead and bring your knee in through center, rising up, hugging your knee into your chest, taking your hands to your knee to hug it in and get nice and tall. Then lower your foot to the mat. We'll take a big breath in, circling both those fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss. Exhale, dive it down through center. Hands frame foot to step your right foot back. Your right palm comes to the mat. Inhale, your opposite arm reaches to the sky for an easy twist. On your exhales and your easy twists, draw your right ribcage towards your thighs as your fingertips reach back in space. Lower your hand to frame your foot. Inhale to extend your left leg to the sky, finding your three leg dog. We're taking that sequence right over to the second side. Take your three ankle circles in one direction. Three in the opposite. And then go ahead and point and flex your foot a few times. All right, step that foot through, and then step your back foot to meet the front for forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale, melt chest towards your thighs. Big, beautiful breath in, circling those fingertips up to the sky. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Moving into that bouncing pose. So begin to shift your weight into your left sole of foot. When you feel stable, cross your right ankle over your thigh. 
and slowly lower your seat back in space as though you're sitting into a chair. Keep that foot flex, that right knee is energetically pressing away. Lengthen your tailbone towards the back edge of the mat, feeling how that creates space in your low back. Brought across your chest, palms fusing together, heart lifted. Lower your hips a few more inches, you got this. On your next inhale, let's press up, moving into your warrior three next. So we begin to extend your leg back as you lean your torso forward. Find that one long line, fingertips extending forward, foot flexed, heel reaches to the space back behind you. Beautiful. Now with control, let's draw your knee in through center, rising up, hugging the knee in towards your chest. Hands come to your knee, lengthen up, then lower your foot to the mat. Take a big breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky. And exhale, dive it right down through center. Hands frame foot to step your left foot back. Your left palm comes to the mat. Inhale the opposite arm to the sky, finding that easy twist. On your exhales this time, your left rib cage draws towards your thigh as those fingertips reach back in space, deepening that twist. Lower your hand or finger foot. Inhale, extend your leg, three leg dog. Down dog, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And find your down dog. Moving right into our next flow, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your foot through near your right thumb. Lower your back heel to the mat so it's parallel with the short edge. Glance down to ensure your front heel bisects your back arch and then fan your arms up for warrior two pose. Have a nice wide stance here. So much of your front thigh low is parallel with the mat, sinking those hips into the pose. Now reach your front fingertips forward, up and back, finding peaceful warrior pose, also known as reverse warrior. So your back hand can slide down your leg or take a bind behind your low back to rest at your hip crease. Ensure you maintain a generous bend in that front knee. Oftentimes the tendency is to straighten in that leg. Now we're going to fan our arms forward, coming into side angle pose with your front forearm coming to your thigh, opposite arms, bicep tracks in line with your ear. Moving into a nice yoga dance flow next. Fluid movement here. So let's take it back into peaceful warrior pose. Beautiful. Fluid movement coming forward into side angle pose. Sink your breath with the movement. Take it back into peaceful warrior. Fluid movement back into side angle pose. Yoga dance back into peaceful warrior. Now come forward into side angle pose. Option this time to lower your front fingertips or your palm to the mat at the inside of your leg. And then find your way back to peaceful warrior. One last time, come forward into side angle pose. Fingertips lower to the mat. Moving into half moon pose next. So begin to shift your weight into your front foot to lift your back leg. Your hips will be stacked. The lifted foot is flexed. Right fingertips to the mat and with control, inhale, extend your opposite fingertips to the sky. Flex foot, that heel reaching back. Stay broad across your chest. Beautiful. Now with control, Lower your back foot to the mat to find your warrior two pose. Then open your front toes to the side of the mat. Let's bring your toes in and your heels out so they are a little pigeon toed. Interlace your fingers behind your low back. And if that is not accessible, you can clasp opposite elbows. Whichever variation is accessible, go ahead and reach back, taking it into a back bend. And on your exhale, begin to hinge forward. Hang it out here. Enjoy the shoulder opening. 
taking note of those areas that have been tended to as we flow. Breathe in, lift halfway. Soften and release fingertips to the mat. Open your back toes to the back of the mat and walk yourself towards the back of the mat. Glance down to ensure your front heel bisects your back arch, then feign your arms up for warrior two. Find that nice wide stance. Lower your hips through center. Reach your front fingertips forward, up and back for Peaceful Warrior. Taking whichever variation with your back arm you did on the opposite side. Maintaining a generous bend in your front knee. Beginning our yoga dance, so fan your arms forward coming into side angle pose. Front forearm coming to your thigh, opposite arms bicep tracking in line with your ear. Nice fluid movement to get back into Peaceful Warrior. Fluid movement coming forward into your side angle. Sinking your breath with the movement here, take Peaceful Warrior. Fluid movement flowing back into side angle. Yoga dance, peaceful warrior. Come forward into side angle pose. This time option to lower your fingertips, a palm to the mat inside your leg. And then find your way back into peaceful warrior. One last time, come forward into side angle, lowering your fingertips to the mat. And then this time we're gonna move into your half moon pose. Begin to shift your weight into your front foot to lift your back leg. Remember to stack those hips. Yeah, foot is flexed, your toes will point to the side of the mat. Left fingertips to the mat and with control, extend your opposite to the sky. Heel reaches back. Stay broad across your chest. Right now with control, lower your back foot to find warrior two pose. Then open your toes to the side of the mat. Now you can stay just as you are, but I'm going to turn around to face you for our next one. In your wide leg stance, this time point your toes out and your heels will come in. Bring your hands to prayer at hearts. And when you're ready, begin to lower your hips down through center. And as you do this, remember to press your knees open side to side. Go ahead and sink your hips a little lower. This is an intense pose, so try not to check out here. Feel into your body. Notice the areas of your body that are feeling a stretching sensation, what muscles are engaged powering up this pose. Breathe. Now bring your hands to the inside of your thighs and gently press them open side to side. This should feel real nice. Now as you do this, make sure that your hips stay sinking nice and low. If it is calling to you, you can sway side to side. Honor what's calling to your body. Then go ahead and lower one of your shoulders down through center with the intent of stacking one shoulder on top of the other. Top shoulder draws back, gaze lifts, Breathe in to rise up, and exhale to lower the opposite shoulder down through center. Pressing the opposite leg open a little wider. 
Inhale to lift to center. Open your toes to the front of the mat, binding your warrior two pose once more. Then fan your hands down to frame your front foot. Step back to find your down dog. We'll shift forward coming into plank pose. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. And lift your hips to downward facing dog. Lower your knees to the mat. Go ahead and take your knees as wide as the mat and your big toes kiss. Melt your torso through center for our wide knees child's pose. Forehead kisses the earth. Take a moment to ground through your breath. We'll be moving into the portion of our practice that is your self-guided intuitive flow. So explore your body right now. Notice what needs a little more love and attention. Are there any areas we did not open yet? As you move into your flow, Take whatever poses or moves your body needs to help tend to these areas. Let's go ahead and begin. The next time you hear my voice, I'll be cueing you to meet me in Downward Facing Dog. All right, my friend, go ahead and find your downward facing dog. Now 
single step to the front of the mat for forward fold. Heel toe your feet as wide as the mat. Clasp opposite elbows. Release your upper body, letting your head weigh heavy. Breathing through your nose. Exhale, soften and mount forward into the forward fold. Release fingertips to the mat. Bring heels in and toes out. And when you're ready, lower your hips through center, finding Mulasana, our yogi squat. Elbows coming to the inside of your thighs, heart lifting. Now bring one hand behind you and one in front to lower your seat to the mat. Soles of feet to the mat out in front of you. Bring hands to the back of your thighs and on your exhale, begin to round back in your spine. And then slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Let's take recline pigeon pose. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh and begin to draw your knee towards your chest, clasping along the back of your thigh or the front of your shin, whichever is accessible and feels best in your body. Now keep that foot flexed and knee energetically pressing away. Slowly lower and switch sides, crossing your left ankle over your right thigh. Draw your knee in towards your chest. Notice if your right and left side feel any different. Oftentimes our sides have different flexibility. I know I can definitely feel a difference in flexibility, especially in the in recline pigeon pose. Soften and lower. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Hands come to your knees and begin to draw big circles with your knees. Knees circling out and then in, taking them in opposite directions. Now go ahead and switch the directions of your circles, providing a massage to your hip joints and also to the space of your low back. Now bring knees into kiss and begin to take your knees in a circle once more, this time with knees kissing going in the same direction. Nice and gentle. Now switch directions of your circles. And then hug your knees in just a moment before we lower your soles of feet to the mat. Moving into a twist, option to move your hips over to the right a little, then bring your shins parallel with the earth, and then lower them to the left side. Cactus your arms and take your gaze the opposite direction of your legs. Take a few deep breaths into your belly, into the space of the twist. On your next exhale, use your core strength to lift your knees up to center. Option to take your hips to the left side a few inches. Then lift your shins parallel to the sky and lower them to the right. Gaze opposite direction. With each exhale you take, allow yourself to settle deeper into the twist. All right, my friends, let's unwind and return to center. Returning your hips to center if needed. Go ahead and extend your legs out long, coming into Shabasana. Arms rest at your side, taking up as much space as you'd like. Getting any wiggles and any scratches out, so you can settle into complete stillness in body, mind, and spirit. Closing our practice the same way we began. Begin to just notice your breath. Noticing the effects of the inhalation and the exhalation on your body. And deeply connecting your breath with your body. And feel into your body, dropping in. Connecting with each part of your body. Doing this in whatever way you did at the beginning of our practice. Maybe scanning your body from head to toe or toes to head, or just tuning in and noticing sensations that present themselves as you lie here. Just exploring your body and connecting with how you're feeling. Notice how you're feeling now compared to when we first joined together here on the mat. Does your body feel nurtured and tended to? Feel your heartbeat the blood coursing through you as it travels to all the rooms of your house. 
You are the light that keeps it bright. Begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and toes, reawakening your body. Draw one knee in and then the other. Roll over to the right side. With eyes closed and attention remaining inward, make your way to a comfy cross-leg seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Hands relax wherever is comfortable. Take three deep breaths, breathing in that nourishing oxygen, feeling it travel throughout your body with each breath you take. One more big breath in, this time circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to heart center. Raise prayer to your forehead, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of ourself and thoughts of others. Hands lower to prayer at your mouth, setting an intention to stay present and mindful as you nourish your body. Hands lower to prayer at your heart setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our actions, acting in love and kindness. Bow forward, thanking yourself for taking this time to explore and connect with your body. Namaste. Thanks so much for choosing to spend your time with me on the mat today. If you enjoyed the practice, please take a moment now to throw the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to help support my work in making yoga free and accessible to all. So much love from my heart to yours.